This is a digital multimeter or DMM and this is going to help you test the different components that we're going to use in all the different circuits. So I've laid out some stuff. We've got a battery, a battery strap, an LED, a 10k ohm resistor, a variable 50k resistor, and a switch. And then there's some other things we can test also. Um, there's different settings on the dial down here. Uh, one thing right off the bat is how you need to have it hooked it up or hooked up. Uh, we're going to have our black uh, cable coming out of common and our red coming out of volts, ohms, and milliamps. And then the different settings are going to be used for testing different things. And the first thing we're going to test is the battery. So that's one of the things we talked about in the very first video is, is your power source good? Well, how are you going to know? Well, you got to test it. So we're going to test by um, connecting these leads. Now you may have the alligator clip leads uh, with your multimeter, or you might have just some probes on there, but you can uh, clamp on to these different areas right here. So we can clamp onto here, and we can clamp onto this one right there. And then we're going to do a reading on that. So we're going to come over to our digital multimeter, and in the left upper corner here is volts DC. So this stands for volts DC. This is actually volts AC on this side. So if, if I was going to plug this into the wall outlet, I would go to 600 volts AC. Please don't do that because this is about a $5 multimeter. So I really don't trust your life in the hands of a $5 meter. But um, we're perfectly safe with volts on this side to do uh, DC current. So we're going to turn it to volts and 20. And so when we turn to volts 20, if the numbers don't come on and you don't start reading anything, it could be because the hold button is depressed and you want to have that released. Now notice how we have a negative number here. That just means that I've got my, uh, my probes here uh, backwards. So if I were to flip them around, I would actually read a positive number. And that's how you can tell which side is the positive lead and which side is the negative lead is by using the correct uh, wires over here. So if you get a negative number, just flip them around. But you can see you've got good voltage on your battery here, so that assures us that our battery is good. Now the next thing that we would want to test, um, well actually let's just jump to the uh, page that you're going to be filling out in, in the notebook. And so if I come up to the notebook here, we tested our battery and we're going to have a voltage reading of 9.6 I think that's what we just said it was 6 volts okay and then what kind of test did we run we did a voltage test kind of trying to videotape and do this at the same time meter setting was was 20 um, volts okay that's fine you could some of your meters if you've got the yellow meter it's gonna say 20 uh, DCV and that would be fine too that's just DC volts okay and then now we're gonna jump down and we're gonna test the resistor I'm actually gonna test the 10k resistor with you as our sample here so we're gonna jump back to our components and, and go ahead and do this so we're going to be testing this resistor right here, which is brown, black, orange, gold, if you recall. And we're going to go ahead and plug our um, alligator clips onto this resistor. So I've got one side on here, and I'll get the other side on there. And we're going to see what we get. Now, we've got to know how to run our meter, and we're not doing a voltage check now. We're doing a resistance test. So all these different settings down here in green are resistance. And you know that because you've got the omega symbol here, which stands for resistance. Now, if I was going to test a 10K ohm resistor, which is what I'm doing now, I want to go to 20. Because 10 is bigger than 2, but it's less than 20. If I was testing a 100K resistor, I would go to 200. Because 100 is bigger than 20, but smaller than 200. If I was going to test a 1K, I would go to 2K. Because 2K is bigger than 1K. If I'm going to test my 50 variable resistor, I'm going to go to 200 because 50 is bigger than 20. So hopefully you caught on to that. So we're going to turn this down to 20, and we're going to look at our reading, and it's 9.89. Don't worry about if it fluctuates a little bit. So that is a um, 10K ohm resistor there. I don't know if you can see it in focus. So brown, black, orange, gold, and we got 9.89. So it's very close. So we come back to our sheet here. 
we're going to go 9.89 ohms. So O-H-M-S. Now you could do an omega symbol, but I don't know if that's on the keyboard or not. What kind of test are you doing? We're doing a resistance test. And what's the meter set at? It's set at 20 K. Okay, which will go up to 20,000. So you're showing me that you understand this and what the meter needs to be set at, what type of test you're doing. It's a resistance test. If you recall, resistance is like rocks in the pipe. It's going to use up that power as it tries to flow through that resistor. Um, with the battery, we're doing a voltage test. So it's, it's telling me the potential push that the voltage is pushing the electrons through the circuit. Okay, let's go ahead and do the variable 50K. I'll show you how this hooks up. So we're going to jump back to here. We're going to disconnect the resistor that we have now. And we're going to go ahead and hook up to this variable 50K. Now we're going to come in the bottom left and out the top center. So we're going to come in the bottom left. It doesn't matter which one you use here. Just don't let that connect both of those metal things. See, I'm only connected to one. I don't want to be connected to both. And then I'm going to go to the top here like so so I'm coming in one and out the other and then I'm gonna go back to my meter and on my meter I'm gonna change this to 200 and you're gonna see that we're gonna get a reading and then uh, in my other hand here I'm gonna go ahead and turn the dial of that variable 50k and you're gonna see that this gives me different numbers anywhere between 0 and 50 so you're gonna give me three different readouts so that could be one the other and then you can keep going. You can give me three different uh, positions on that. So we'll fill that in over here. So we would say, all right, here's the three different positions. I read six, and then I read a different number, and then I read a different number. What type of test is it going to be? Well, it's the same as all these resistors, right? And what did you set the meter at? We didn't set it at 20K. What did we set it at? So you'd write that down. All right, when we get to the bottom, um, both all the wire, the battery strap, and the switch are all tested with the same test. Now what we're doing is what's called a continuity test. Continuity sounds like continuous, so we're seeing can electrons flow through these devices. You could also look at it like a conductor test. This really will tell you if you have a conductor. So if we switch to this setting right here, it's like a little speaker down here. That is called a continuity test. And this tells us if we have a good conductor or if there's anything wrong with the material we're using as a conductor. So let's go back over to our parts here and we'll disconnect our meter. One thing we could do is we could check our battery strap. The battery strap could be bad. So we're going to go ahead and clamp on to the end of that red wire. And then I'm going to connect the other end to one of these terminals. And if, I don't know if you can hear that on the video, but it's beeping, telling me that there's good flow from that connection to the end of the red wire. Then I could clamp onto the black wire and test it here and it would beep also. So that's a continuity test. So when you come over to your paper then, um, under wire, what kind of test are you doing? Continuity test. What's the meter set at? Continuity. It's almost redundant but it is the same thing. So the test I'm running and the meter setting are one and the same. What's the test result? It beeped, right? Come back here, let's run a uh, continuity test on our switch. Is our switch good? Well, how do you know? Sometimes the switch goes bad. So I could hook these up. So I'll put one of them on this one. And I'll put one of them on the other one. And it shouldn't do anything. Now again, what setting am I on? My light just went out. I am on continuity. So when I go to the button and I push it, nothing's happening. There it goes. It's going to beep, showing that there's a flow through the switch and that it's working correctly. Now the last one I'm going to test with you is an LED. By the way, LED stands for light emitting diode. Light emitting diode. Um, we're going to be doing a diode test. So if you look at the test, we're going to be testing a, a diode test. And we're going to be turning the meter setting to diode, which is actually 2K. So let me show you that on here. We're going to come back to our meter, 
and we're going to flip this to, it is a resistance test, okay, but there's a symbol down here that we're testing the diode specifically, so that's the symbol for diode. If you remember back to our light emitting diode, it looks just like that with a couple arrows coming up off the top. So we're going to do that, and we're not really looking for anything up here in the readout, we're looking for something to happen with the LED. So we've got to hook this up correctly. So we've got a black wire and a red wire. And if you look closely at the LED, there's a short wire and a long wire. The short wire needs to be hooked up to the black and the red wire to the long. So we'll try to do that here one-handed. So we're going to go red to the long. And then the black, if you look carefully, I'll try to zoom in here so you can see. When I touch the black on the short, should light up. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's try it a different way. Okay, so I've hooked it up black on the short wire, red on the long wire, and you should see the light bulb come on in your LED. If you don't see the light bulb come on, you have a bad LED. And that's by going to, as a review here real quick, the diode setting, which is this diode symbol or 2K.